Welcome to today's video guys. My name is It's underscore Kisaka. So pleased to have you back on this channel. If you have not subscribed to this channel and if you are first time bumping into this channel, do me a favor by subscribing to this channel. To my returning subscribers, thank you guys for always taking your time to come back and watch my videos. And greetings, greetings to my Jamaican family. You are a small island, but what you do to this channel and other Africans is really massive. Thank you for always supporting we Africans. In today's video, guys, I'll be telling you why Jamaica, Jamaicans need a visa to visit the UK. Yet King Charles, King Charles III, is the king of Jamaica, according to the uh, constitution that is there. That is King Charles is the head of state of Jamaica. You know, Jamaica got independence in the year 1962 but it was not fully independent because it uh, retained the, the the British monarch. And in the British monarch, and it's not, not, not only in Jamaica, there are like another 14 countries uh, in the Caribbean and other countries. Uh, to, your, to, to my surprise, when I was uh, reading about the Commonwealth and the, uh, the monarch, that is uh, the British monarch, I was surprised that Australia and Canada are also included. That is King Charles III is the head of state in uh, Australia, in Canada, and in Jamaica. Even though Jamaica is thinking of doing it uh, away, it has been there for some time. And you know, uh, Jamaica has a prime minister, uh, the current prime minister, Andrew, His Highness Andrew Holness, and a governor general. So the governor general is the one like... Uh, the representative of King Charles III. In the past, guys, uh, during the swearing-in uh, swearing ceremony, the prime minister and the, the ministers uh, used to pledge, uh, when they swear, they pledge their allegiance to King Charles III. In the past, they, because before King Charles was Queen Elizabeth, they used to pledge uh, their allegiance to, the, uh, to, to, to Queen Elizabeth, his heirs and successors. Uh, to read you an extract uh, uh, of what like the previous prime ministers used to say. Uh, that is, for example, I, blah, 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 prime minister, uh, th that is the name, I, blah, 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 do swear that in that I'll be faithful and bear the allegiance to His Majesty King Charles III, if, if, if it was uh, Queen Elizabeth, to Queen, to Her Majesty, uh, uh, Queen Elizabeth, he, her heirs and successors according to the laws of uh, Jamaica. And I will faithfully observe the laws of Jamaica and fulfill my duties as a citizen of Jamaica. So help me God. If, imagine uh, they are in Jamaica and they are, are pledging their allegiance to to the, uh, if it was, in, I think in, in the past, Queen Elizabeth. And yet they are in Jamaica. But the good thing, this law is about to be done away with. Uh, I remember when uh, in the year 2022, Andrew Hollens, is Highness Andrew Hollens, the Prime Minister of Jamaica, announced to the Prince, that is Prince William, of the intention of Jamaica to remove the British monarch. And uh, uh, doing my research, I uh, tried to look for the sample of what, uh, of the swearing, swearing in ceremony of uh, is Highness Andrew Hollens in the year 2016 and the recent one. And I uh, looking at uh, the, the the part where they swear has been changed, and now they are currently pledging allegiance to Jamaicans. So, going around the internet, I was surprised that uh, Jamaicans, as at now, they are still in under the, the uh, British monarch, and yet when they visit UK, they need a visa. It's like. Uh, you have a father and uh, you are told that in uh, to, to go and visit the father you need an appointment is that that's, it doesn't that doesn't doesn't make sense understand uh, J jamaicans uh, were having visa free uh, visits to the uk until the, around the 1990s and around 2 or 3 there uh, it is said that some jamaicans some few uh, jamaicans with the, they say rotten Jamaicans with the 
ill motive or bad behaviors went there and tainted the image. So they removed the free visa to Jamaicans. But, uh, you know, if uh, the, the, you have a head of state, I think he or she should work uh, his way to protect uh, uh, his members, his or her members. In this case, if I'm a, I'm a father, even if my, my son or daughter is bad, I'll find a way to protect and uh, uh, bring them on in, in line the way I want things to be. Uh, they could have found a way to. Uh, however, I, I still uh, thank uh, the, the UK government for uh, for the uh, for the immigrations that, are, that has happened. You know, Jamaica is a small island, but with the number of people living outside, uh, it's so a, a, a huge number of people. Are, like a lot of uh, them are in the in Canada, uh, US, and the UK. But as I have told you, Canada, Australia are still under the British monarch. And it beats logic that Jamaicans have to uh, need a visa to the UK and yet the, uh, the, uh, the head of state, that is King Charles, the head of state, according to the British monarch. And this thing, uh, there are some Jamaicans, I'm not, I'm not saying all, there are some Jamaicans who don't know about this because they tell you that we are an independent uh, country. Yes, they, uh, uh, Jamaican, uh, Jamaicans got their independence in 1962. But from at that time, it was still under, even currently as I speak, it is still under British monarch rule, even though the, uh, uh, the current regime is trying to uh, do away with it. And as they told uh, Prince William, and... Uh, uh, that they are in 2022 when he visited Jamaica, that they are trying to abolish that. Uh, Barbados in 2021 cut ties with the, the British monarch, and uh, Jamaica is in due course following that. Uh, this uh, will, uh, will actually involve a lot of legal uh, reforms, and uh, in final, I think they'll have uh, Jamaicans will have a referendum. Uh, and I think this is necessary because like here in Africa, uh, the country like uh, that I'm recording from Kenya was using the the past constitution of that was drafted by uh, uh, Britain. But we had to do a referendum and uh, change a lot of clauses before uh, we got a new constitution. This That will, will also uh, be necessary in Jamaica because... Uh, I see. Uh, I've seen. Uh, according to my research, I've seen uh, they have formed uh, the Constitution uh, uh, Reform Committee, and they are working on that uh, to get reforms. Uh, and also, I'll say the Rastafarians have been fighting for this for quite a long time. Uh, they have been uh, talking about the atrocities that uh, the colonial masters did to the U.S. You know, when the British uh, or rather the UK took over uh, from Spain in the year 1655. A lot of uh, things have been happening from that time. And uh, the Rastafarians are against, and not only the Rastafarians, uh, also other Jamaicans and uh, Africans at large are against that, uh, this. Because they are just colonial laws uh, uh, that have been hyped up. Uh, we cannot be saying that uh, one is head of state. Or, and and uh, I, re I read in Wikipedia that it's not only head of state, it's like the king of Jamaica. Jamaicans to them, they they know they are prime minister only, but the governor general, the one who uh, is in charge of swearing in the prime minister, is the representative of King Charles. <coughs> <clears throat> and uh, this bits, bits logic that Jamaicans have to be uh, uh, to pay for visa to visit the UK. Uh, it just doesn't make sense. And yet there are some countries like Brazil, Argentina, that are visa free to the UK. 
country like the USA is visa free to the UK, an African country like Botswana is visa free to the UK, and yet Jamaica, whose uh, head of state currently is King Charles III, they have to pay for their visa to visit UK. I mean, what's your take? I need uh, some of your opinions uh, about this. This is the video for today. Uh, I wanted to enlighten some of you uh, because in some of the videos I've seen, uh, I saw uh, one person saying that Jamaica is independent. Yes, it is independent, but it needs to be, uh, what's the term, republic, fully republic, uh, with its own constitution, not the one that was drafted uh, by the uh, colonial masters. It should be free with the, its own constitution. And also in some of the beaches, I saw there are some uh, uh, people buying parcels of the beach and denying uh, Jamaicans and uh, or, or, or local residents access to the beach. And looking at it, uh, the, the rules, the acts that are still there are uh, the ones that are from the past. These ones should be uh, done away with. We need new uh, things in place, new Jamaica, a strong Jamaica with its own leaders and not uh, having a monarch. You know, with monarchs, anything can happen. They might even come back and start uh, saying that they want reparations for they did blah, blah, blah. They, uh, they did this and this. Uh, you know, what happened in Haiti? The French uh, colonized uh, Haiti went away, and then after some time, they sent their soldiers to, to come over to Haiti and demand for reparations. I'm not saying that uh, the UK government is going to do that. I'm just giving you an example, because if you are free, it means that you should be free in everything. Not free, and then they give you some, some clauses that uh, uh, will be the head of what? Or, no, no. Jamaicans need its own constitution. And if need be, its own president. So this has been the video for today. Thank you, guys. I uh, hope I have enlightened some. Uh, some of we Africans and also some of the people living in the Caribbean and also some Jamaicans who maybe didn't know. I understand majority of you aware of this but there are some who don't know about this they know of uh prime minister prime minister prime minister but in the past if you look at at, uh, at uh, the, the swearing uh, ceremony statements that they used to swear was just uh not making sense currently they're changing things and uh change is evident and it is coming uh however it is long it, it will take, but uh, I know eventually uh, it will happen and uh, Jamaica will be fully free. So cheers, guys. Thank you for watching this video up to this point, for supporting this channel. If you have not subscribed to this channel, do me a favor by hitting the subscription button, uh, like this video, share it with your friends, and don't skip the ads. This is how I get to earn. Cheers, guys. Uh, see you on my next video.